and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make Play Doh Christmas surprise eggs. Don't these look awesome? So, for this, you are going to need lots of festive coloured Play Doh. You're going to need some Christmas toys, a Play Doh knife, chocolate coins, various Play Doh cutters, and your rolling pin. So let's get started. I'm using my rolling pin to roll out my red Play-Doh. But remember, you can use whatever colour you like. We're going to make presents, so as many different colours as you like is great. First of all, I'm taking my first Play-Doh cutter. It's actually a little box, but this is great for what I want to do. I'm cutting out two pieces of Play-Doh that will fit exactly inside it. Then, I'm putting one of my presents in there. Now I'm going to cut a strip of Play-Doh that can go around the edge. Just like this. What we're doing is creating the Play-Doh present inside this box. We're using it as a template. Put your present inside and then stuff the edges with more Play-Doh. Keep adding more Play-Doh until you can't see the toy. And finally, add your top piece. Make sure it's stuck on properly, and then when you pop it out, it's going to be a perfect present shape. See? Great! Now let's take some dark green Play-Doh and roll it flat as well. I'm using my cookie cutter in the shape of a Christmas tree to cut out some shapes. Perfect! These look great! I'm going to use them to decorate my red present. The green really pops! Looking good! Now I'm taking some light yellow Play-Doh. I'm rolling it flat. I'm making some ribbon. Wrap it around the present and it looks great! Now I'm doing another piece the other way. Wow, this present is so pretty! Don't forget to make the bow! I'm doing this out of some more light yellow Play-Doh. Roll it flat and then cut it into shape. Perfect! Add it on top of your present. Doesn't that look pretty? Now let's make another present. I'm going to put some gold chocolate coins in this present and I'm using blue to wrap them up. This is going to be a great surprise for whoever opens it. I'm using a tool to make some perfect yellow diamonds. And then I'm sticking them on. Looking good! So pretty! Don't forget we need to create a ribbon for this one too. I'm doing a really skinny ribbon and I'm doing it in red. Wrap it around your present. And don't forget to add one the other direction as well. We 
can't forget the bow. Add it on top and add a bit more Play-Doh so that there's a double loop. Perfect! Let's see what else we can create. I'm using dark red. I'm wrapping this present right up. It's almost like wrapping a normal present. Except you don't need any sticky tape. This little stamp makes some great white stars. I'm going to cover my red present in them. Of course we need to make a ribbon. I think bright blue will look great on this present. I'm making it a bit thicker than before. Don't forget! We want to do one lengthways and then the other across the middle. And as always, we can't forget to make a bow. Looking good! I can't wait to stick it on my present! And there you go! Perfect! I think this one's my favourite. It looks so pretty. They all look so great underneath the Christmas tree. <gasps> Let's open one up! Wow! That's very cool! It's Santa Claus in a Play-Doh Christmas surprise egg. Oh, and he walks! Hi Santa! What else did we wrap? <gasps> Our chocolate coins! What's in here? Super cute! This is so much fun! You can wrap all sorts of presents! And there you have it, your very own Play-Doh Christmas surprise eggs. Today I am going to show you how to make a Do Vinci Christmas tree. Doesn't that look awesome? So for this you're going to need an A4 piece of white card, an A4 piece of green card and some cardboard. You're also going to need a ruler, a craft knife, a pencil, a Do Vinci stylus pen, different colours of Do Vinci deco pops, and a glue stick. So the first thing we want to do is to glue our green paper to our cardboard. I'm starting by covering the cardboard with glue and then sticking the green bit of paper on top. I'm now going to use my ruler to draw an outline of a Christmas tree. Looking good! You can get your parents help to do this if you like.
Now I'm going to take my craft knife and cut around the edge. Please get your parents' help to do this. I'm putting an additional piece of card underneath so I don't scratch the table. There you have it. I'm now going to draw the tree trunk base. I'm cutting around the edge of the base, just like this. Looking good. It already looks awesome. Now I'm going to make the stand for the tree base. I'm going to mark out how high the existing trunk is on another bit of cardboard and then I'm going to cut it out. I'm also going to measure how wide it is. I'm going to use my craft knife to create a slit on both the tree trunk and the additional piece of card. This means when it's put together, the tree will stand up. Now time for the fun bit. I'm going to outline my tree with green using my Da Vinci set and colors. This gives an awesome 3D effect. I'm also adding detail to the middle by doing a zigzag. Now let's add some color. I'm going to start with some red tinsel. Doesn't this look awesome? It gives such a great 3D effect. Keep going. I'm doing it on a diagonal. And now I'm going to add some purple baubles. these all over your tree. What about some pink tinsel too? This looks great over the top of everything. And I'm adding some small yellow dots as well. These look like sparkles. I'm also using white dots too. Why not add some orange baubles as well? Keep decorating until you're happy with how your tree looks. You can use any different colors you like. Now, finally, I'm doing a yellow star at the top of the tree. And it's complete. Reattach your base and there you have it. Look how great it looks from here. It's all 3D.
super fun. A Do Vinci Christmas tree. 